This is the video review for Transformers Movie Evac. Um, he is a Voyager class figure, um, and he is a repaint of Movie Blackout. Um, instead of being gray, he's an Autobot, and he is um, orange and white with some black on him, um, painted up in rescue helicopter colors. Um, oh, and there's his life raft. We'll get to that in a little bit. Um, this propeller, rear propeller does spin. Uh, the front propeller spins when you push this button in the back. Um, it is not freewheeling like some of them. It used to be toys, you could push the button, and some still do, but you push the button and it would spin for a few seconds. And this one, the way the gearing system works, it stops pretty much as soon as you're not pushing the button, which is a shame, but not the end of the world. Um, back here, instead of Scorbinok, he does deploy, push this button, deploy, a little life raft. Uh, nothing spectacular. Just you know, your standard orange life raft. It will become his weapon in robot mode. Now, let's see. That's about it for helicopter mode. Go ahead and pick that back up. Um, but not bad. I, I, I kind of like the orange color scheme on him. I'm just a big fan of orange. Um, transform into robot. You start off by pulling this whole cage assembly. Rotating it around, plugging it in right here on top. And then um, flip his legs down like this. And you can pull this whole assembly off like so. I find that makes transforming him a little easier. Um, but yeah, you pull this his legs down. His head's supposed to flip up. Sometimes it gets stuck. Sometimes I find it helps if you help patricing his head. Helps you get those legs down. Um, you just rotate the waist around like this. Um, rotate the legs out like this and the feet down. And then again in the back, open this up. And you can flip out. It can be a little tricky to get his heels down, but. Man. There we go. You close that, and there's a little groove on his foot that this little tab sits into. And then when you pull his knee armor out, it pops out this lower armor piece as well. And you just do the same over here. flip down from here. I'm going to take this piece and unlock this like this. And this whole back piece folds up. And these pieces fold down. And there's a little tab in there that plugs into a slot on this shoulder piece. Lock it in place. Just like so. And you just flip these up and around. He's got little missile launchers. You don't, they don't show up as well as they do on Blackout since they're all the same plastic, but there are some missiles molded into there. Uh, you flip the hands down and the arms around, and this little panel folds up. And just do the same over here. This little panel, elbows. In this assembly, you can take this and you squeeze right down here, right here, there, the, these two propellers together, and it makes them all kind of sit more at an angle like that. And then you can plug it back in. You could have left this on during transformation, I just find it's a little easier to take it off. Um, and there you have his robot mode. Lower the camera, maybe get a little bit better angle on that. I'm trying to set the camera up when I'm initially doing these to get the best angle, and it worked for helicopter mode, but not so much for robot mode. So I apologize for doing this. I think you'd all would rather see robot mode a little bit more clearly from a better angle. And again, predominantly orange and white. He does have some of the all spark blue on him, and this is really one of the few figures that I don't mind the all-spark blue on. Stockade's another one. Um, 
but some of them just look really garish and out of place. But the blue doesn't look too bad on him. Um, you flip this little post up on the life raft, and it fits in his hand like a weapon. He turns into a little gun. And that's one of the main differences between this mold and the blackout version of this mold, is that the hands are, in fact, molded as open fists with a hole in them, as opposed to, you know, blackout just had kind of hands like that, just open claws. Um, and also he has a different head. It looks more like a rescue diver helmet. Um, so a very neat little detail there. Very nice figure. I really, really... For whatever reason, like this one, like him as Evac a lot more than I liked him as Blackout. Um, one other thing about his weapon, you can, so this detached, you can actually have this uh, fold this front piece down and have this sit over his shoulder with the rotors deployed as a rotary weapon. Um, I don't do it. I think that looks even. I think it looks silly to have it like that. I just usually leave it on his back or just leave it off to the side. Uh, when in robot mode, I prefer to keep it on its back, just so I don't lose it. Um, but yeah, a very, a very nice figure. Um, like I said, I like I like him more than I like the Blackout version of this mold. Although the Blackout's a nice, it's a neat figure. It's a neat, different, certainly something different for a helicopter. Um, there's, there's some neat stuff going on. Uh, but there you have it. Uh, Transformers movie evac.